I, all right guys, I'm in Walgreens right now and I was just going on an errand for work and look at what I found. Pokemon themed deck, X and Y. Two of these packs. I'm gonna pick one up. I'm surprised they actually had these in stock. So we're gonna review it. Look at, in this box you will find one ready to play 60 card deck, three reference cards, one rules book, a single player mat, damage counters, one large metallic coin, one deck box, one quick guide to unlock strategies, and one code card to play online. Sweet. Let me know if you guys have found anything recently at uh, Walgreens or anywhere. Okay guys, something real exciting happened too. So as I was paying, I'm walking out, out of the Walgreens, right? I told her that I was, I told the, I told the cashier, I was like, wow, it's actually really hard to find these Pokemon packs. I'm surprised you guys had them. And she goes, yeah, I know. Like I'm, she goes, yeah, we can't even keep them on the shelves. And as I say that, she has two of these behind the shelves. I was like, what? Battle style, sword and shield, so cool. So thank you, Walgreens, more pickups. So I'm excited to unbox these for you guys. I've never opened these before or these before. So this, this will be fun. Okay guys, and no Pokemon cards in CVS, but I did pick up some Wonder Balls. So we'll add those to the unboxing of the Pokemon cards just to throw it in there. All right, hey guys, I just walked out of Walmart and I didn't see any Pokemon cards, but I found this. Very cool, I get to add this to my collection and display some Pokemon cards. All right guys, we are on a literal hunt today. Um, while we're at the Barnes and Noble store, we went to Best Buy, we went to GameStop, we went to Walmart. This is, a, this is very tough to find Pokemon cards, but let's see what we can find in this Barnes and Noble. I also thought about this too. I'm like, why am I working so hard to find these Pokemon cards when I'm not even a Pokemon card collector? I just thought it was funny. But it's also fun and exciting to see if you can find them. So, who knows? Okay guys, last location of the day. It's been a lot of fun hunting, but we're gonna hit up the Dollar Tree. Hopefully you don't let us down. Okay, they don't even sell Pokemon cards there, so it wouldn't have even been possible to get anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me hunting around every single store in my area for Pokemon. Okay guys, last and final location, I promise. I'm going to CVS. So I called and I wanted to see if they had any cards just out of a whim. And they said that they do, so I'm not gonna keep my hopes up, but let's see what they got. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so epic. Okay guys, we finally did it. We got at least two packs. I've never seen these ones before. These are like originals. I, I mean, I, I don't even know what that means. But we finally did it. We got some Pokemon cards. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for stopping by CJ's gaming channel. And today we are going to review a big Pokemon card hunt that I went on after work today. I went to about seven or eight different stores and I was hunting for Pokemon cards. I don't know why, because I don't even really know how to use them or I don't know the new generations now, but I thought it would be a lot of fun for the channel and I thought it would be a good experience to be able to see what all the hype is about out there. I love watching Unlisted Leaf. I love watching Lee and Hart. Those are two of my favorite channels for watching Pokemon card unboxings. And I figured why not give it a go? So these are the pools that I was able to grab from my stories today. So let's give it a whirl. We have a Pokemon trading card game, Venusaur box, starter pack. This one is sort of open, like I grabbed it and it just started opening up. So we will unbox this one obviously first. 
and I'm deciding to keep this one sealed because I don't think I really need to open two of them. They're really just basic sets and I think it'd be kind of cool to keep it sealed so we're gonna do that. And we were able to pick up two of these from Walgreens. So we got these two at Walgreens and these two at Walgreens as well. Uh, it's Sword and Shield Battle Styles. I guess these are new cards that came out. So these were behind the register. Everything's on lockdown because of how popular these cards are. And we're gonna keep one of these sealed as well. So I'm going to keep one of those in the back. And then we were able to pick up two of these from CVS. And I hear that these aren't like the best pulls. This is just kind of like a random thing at CVS that I was able to find. Um, they don't even say any like thing like the Pokemon card company or anything like that. Um, I know Breaking Meat, he loves doing videos on Pokemon cards. You don't have to waste your money on these. So, I mean, it is what it is. I think it's an experience for me. I think we'll start with the CVS pack first because this seems like it'll be the most anti-climatic card pulling. And it doesn't seem like there's too many good reviews on this, so I guess we'll go worst first. Alright. And I... Okay. Try not to ruin any of the surprises here, and I will do my best for you guys. Okay, and I was able to do a little bit of research, and I know that you're supposed to put the hollow, the hollow is actually on the very bottom, so I'm just gonna make sure I don't expose that first, so we won't ruin the surprise about what we get. So we put the hollow on the, on the, right down there, okay? And I think we just flip it. All right, so we got energy, energy, trainer. Now this is interesting. Um, these are definitely way updated from the first base sets that I remember as a kid. I never even knew how to play with these as a kid. Like I just collected them because every single kid in America was doing it, but I didn't know actually how to play the game. Uh, Ultra Ball, Machop, Eggheads, Carvana, Carvana. I think it'll be really funny. You guys can make fun of me about how I pronounce these Pokemon. So um, most of this is like the first time I'm ever seeing these cards too, by the way. Phantom. Whoa, Machoke. Jeez, this dude is like buffed. Where's my Machoke? There he is. Dude, look at you. You changed. He looks like, um. Arnold Schwarzenegger, if he was a Pokemon. Okay, whoops. Sharpedo. Absol. Wolpix. Viper. Arbok. Kakuna, Katana, Leopard, Bijou, Puppetar, Hoot Hoot. Okay, and now let's see what our special card is. I guess it's supposed to be like a hollow or something like that. All right. And we got a Dartrix. Okay. And I guess it's a reverse hollow. Yeah, I think this is a reverse hollow. Okay, so that was kind of cool. First deck down. 
two more to go. Now this is gonna be, it comes with a lot of extra things um, because it's a, it's like a, a starter pack, if you will. So this is like the the best card that you can get in the deck. Um, ooh, very cool. It comes with an extra large coin here. Let's see how do you open this thing. Okay, here we go. Let's get into all the goodies. Oh wow, that's neat. That's really cool. The Venusaur. The V battle deck. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm, I'm gonna keep my training code. Uh, in case I want to do this online, so I'm sorry I'm not going to give this to you guys, but I'm going to I'm gonna experiment with this. I might, I might like it. I don't know yet. And here is the, I guess the promo card, you'd say. The reason why you, were, you would buy this deck is because this one is like the most powerful card in the deck. Let's see. What's the condition of this? I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't see any whiting. The centering looks good. I mean, I think that looks like a really good card. Put that to the back. And then here's the coin. Here's the Venusaur coin. What do you what do you guys do with these? Are they just collectibles? I mean, I don't think that you do anything with them. They just kind of like sit as a display, right? Let me know in the comments below. Help help a girl out, okay? Um, okay. Let's see what we have with this special condition poisoned. Oh, okay. So it's like a what you can do during your turn. So it's a whole explanation of what to do to see what like the what the online game is like. What are special conditions? Okay, so it explains everything into detail. Confusion. All right, that's neat. So we'll keep that on hand. And this, um, prize cards, I think this is like your training map guide thing that you put everything on if you're gonna play. Oh wow, that's really neat. This looks like a little poster. A poster on this side. And on this side is like your deck. What you can do during your turn, that's how to explain the rules, what to do. Um, and then a really big picture of Venusaur. Okay, so you put your deck here, discard everything there, and then I guess the bench is like the playing ground or something like that. Yeah, you can hold up to five Pokemon. All Pokemon must start as basic Pokemon. Okay, and then active Pokemon. Okay, cool. So that is neat. I should play against Matt just for giggles because I doubt he knows how to play. We're a little bit too old for this. I mean, I'm not even going to say that because so many people are playing nowadays. Here is the quick start rules. And we have. Oh, 
I guess it just it explains everything in the deck. A little description. Cool. Alright, we're gonna need lots of help. And here are the coins here. I guess you can keep track of the damage and all that stuff. You can like punch them out and uh, start using them. So, very cool. And here is the deck. So, it's pretty sweet actually. So you get 60 cards for $14.99. And they're all pretty basic cards, nothing like is crazy. And um, yeah, let's just go through it real quick. So, got lots of energies to start you off. You got Myanma, Pop, Skiddo, Yanega, Dan. More energy. Go, 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 go. Durant, Yanma. More energies. Gossifler, Dan. Great ball. More energy. Pop. Eat. Bed. Eat. A potion, more energy, switch, what does switch do? Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, okay. Um, Indeedee, huh, that's a cute name. Yeah, Evolution Incense, another unlisted leaf energy. Durant, Yanma, Sonia, Energy, Heracross, Gym Trainer, Skiddo, Energy, Hop, Great Ball, Gym Trainer, Heracross, Pokemon Catcher, what does this do? Flip a coin, if heads switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Okay. Energy, Potion, Dan, Switch again, Energy. Bead, Beady, Betty, I don't know. Dan. Another energy. Skiddo. Go Goat. Pop. Eldgoss. Energy. Gossip Flare. Yan Mega. Indeedy. And another energy. Alright, that is pretty cool. So this is like a nice starter pack. Leaf, Grass Pokemon, great for the game. And last but certainly not least, we are going to open up Battle Styles. And before we do this, let me know in the comments below, question of the video, what is the best pull that you guys have gotten from Battle Styles Sword and Shield? Let me know in the comments below, I'd really like to know. And what you can expect from these pulls Get into it. My first ever sword and shield pack opening. Let's see how I do. Imagine us pulling like the best card ever for this deck. That'd be pretty funny actually. Because someone new like me has no idea what you actually get. You have actually no idea if it's good or bad. Okay, so let's see. Oh, well, didn't even get to try and open it like, like the pros. Four from the back, one, two, 
three, four to the front like that, right? Yep, okay, cool. So we did the card trick right. And let's give this a go. I must have leave. Cedra. Weeping Bell. X Share. Ball Toy. Timber. Huh? It's kind of a funny name. Frillish. Houndor. Scatterbug. Lorantis? Okay, so I think that's a reverse hollow. And a Vivlion. Okay, so nothing great. But um, that was kind of cool, you guys. I know it was a little anticlimactic, but I had a great time pulling these cards. It was a lot of fun for me. It was something of nostalgia. And I do miss the smell of like a fresh Pokemon card deck. I don't know if that's weird or not, but you know, like the smell of a fresh new notebook or a book. Nothing like the smells of your childhood. I don't know, whatever. But that was that. Let's see what we pulled from the Wonder Balls today, huh? Maybe we'll get a little bit more luck. What do we get for a sticker here? Mario and Waluigi. Okay. Oh yeah, and I did have this in my car today, which was kind of funny because it was a little hot. It was like 75 degrees out, so it kind of melted. And for the coin, we have... Ah, oh, Goomba, where do you have you? Okay, that's all right. And box number two. Another melted chocolate ball. Okay, so we're gonna just throw that away. Right away. Anyway. And Mario, Riding Yoshi, and Luigi. And for the coin, da 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 da, we have a <gasps> Yoshi! Yay! So we don't have him. Yay, we added him to the collection. Finally, not a. Finally, we didn't repeat. Little Yoshi luck over here. Very cool. Thank you guys so much for going on this adventure with me. It was, it's been a long day and I'm really happy with what we were able to get from the stores, especially how scarce they are nowadays. And if you did like this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if this is something you're interested in watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Hey, what's up guys? CJ here from CJ's Gaming Channel and today I am going Pokemon card hunting, Wonder Ball hunting, Pokemon food, Mario food, anything collectible, pop vinyls, you name it, I'm looking for it. So stay tuned with me and let's go. Oh, and I'm also sporting some USA apparel. Whoop, whoop, got this at Target last year. A little bit of USA pride. Alright guys, so far it must be a lucky day because I found this pack with Snorlax in it and this Chilling Rain pack with Snorlax in it. So at least we got our favorite Pokemon character. Alright guys, so Walmart is our first stop and we were able to get one of these battle styles and it's an older pack in the back. The Morpico Blister. And we were able to get the Chilling Rain with the Snorlax. So not bad, so far. Let's keep going. Guys, it's my favorite store. Barnes and Nobles for Pokemon cards. They never really fail me. Let's go. All right, so that was kind of a bummer. They didn't really have anything I was looking for. I'm trying to collect all the mini tins and uh, it was a dud, but that's all right. They had some product, uh, but 
we're gonna pass on that. We'll leave that for everybody else. All right, guys, now check it. This was our little mini haul today. And um, these two blister packs and then the two packs of cookies. So it's kind of all we got so far. So guys, I just came out of Barnes & Noble and I was able to pick up only two items for Pokemon. So I got this Chilling Rain pack and this Tyranitar tin that I've been seeing go online for a lot of money. And I'm really happy that I decided to go in because they had this tin and the other tin, that blue guy right there. Welcome to the sealed tin collection, Tyranitar. So as you guys may know, I just started collecting Pokemon cards and tins and things that are sealed. And you know what's kind of sad is that this is my first ever tin that I've actually bought in a store for retail price. So I bought this for $24.99 from Barnes and Noble and everything else I've had to buy online from eBay, from Facebook Marketplace. And I'm just actually happy that this is my first ever tin for, for retail value price at $24.99. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to CJ's Gaming Channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm with Matt here and we are gonna go video game hunting and Pokemon card hunting. So let's see kind of what we have at the Targets, our local Walmarts, GameStops, whatever, and uh, see if the stores have gone a little better. So stick around and let's go. First stop of the day, Walmart. Hopefully we can get some hits. Let's do it. Guys, look at these little things. Luigi's and Mario's and Yoshi. We're not looking for them, unfortunately, so let's keep going. We're near. All right. Yeah, that was a dud. Yeah, oh. that was a dud. First, Total dud. First stop of the day, nada. Let's not uh, head to the next stop. Yeah. Store number two, Dollar Tree. Let's do it. What do you think, Matt? Do you think we're going to get any hits? I don't know. It certainly wasn't Walmart, so these simpler simpler times, simpler stores. Took the L on that one, too. Womp. What else do we have in the area, Matt? Target, Best Buy, Barnes & Noble, maybe? Ooh, my, my hope is for Barnes & Noble. Fingers crossed. Store number three, GameStop. Please don't disappoint us. Okay, another dud, but we will not be defeated. We will come home with something to open up for you guys. Target. Here we come. It's number five. This is number, whoa, 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 number five, yeah. Number five. Number five, all right, Target, let's do this. Oh, for four, maybe one for five. some nice hits we we're only able to get two each so I got two and Matt got two they still have a limit at Target um, but really happy with finding something yeah they had quite a few too it was nice definitely definitely got what we needed so I think I'm gonna open up oh you know what we should do our first ever couples pack battle oh okay okay so you, think that. you choose which one you want it's either Moltres, Zapdos, and forgive me guys, I'm new into the card collecting game, so I don't really know a lot of like the newer ones, like something like Cali Rex and Ice Rider. I know that, you know, I've watched quite a few Pokemon openings, but I can't remember off of like yeah, me every, either. every single Pokemon. So if we butcher some names, forgive us, we're trying our best here. So Matt, which one would you like? Okay, grab your pack. <laughs> you went with the Zapdos. I'm gonna go. Us. I feel like it's only suiting that I go with the Moltres. Ooh, flame on! All right, Sword and Shield, Chilling Rain. This couples pack battle. Let's see how we do. Ooh, that came out pretty nicely. I'd like to try and keep the pack arts, honestly. 
Okay. It'd be really cool if we could get that golden Snorlax because Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon besides Togepi. If you guys know that and watch some of my videos. You guys want the code card? It's right there. Card trick. One, two, three, four. Like this. And then the energy should be on top if we did it right. Oh, okay. So bring it down here, Matt. What do we got? So we got psychic energy. Scroll of the skies. Dana Tree Hill. Stini, Rookie, Score Bunny, Aaron, Snorunt, Venipede, a Reverse Honey Trainer card. That's actually kind of cool. And for the last one, we have. Ooh, okay, we got a Hollow Urshifu. Not a bad hit. All right, Matt, you got to beat a hollow Urshifu. Done. Centering looks pretty good, actually, on this card. Looks pretty even. Maybe a little bit high off the top versus the bottom. And in the back, there's a little whitening in the top right corner there. And maybe like a little speck down there. But other than that, not too bad. Everybody be nice to Matt. This is his first ever Pokemon card opening since what? Probably you were a kid? Yeah, gosh, I remember getting like the Bulbasaurs and the Venusaurs and Charizard and all that. Mm -hmm. We'll see if I can even get it open. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. So that's interesting. So this is the Zapdos, Zapdos. one, but you got the Shadow Rider or Dark Rider, yeah. Night Rider. So I guess it doesn't matter sometimes depending on... What, do you basically just chew these out? I don't know. As I bend it. Well, one moment, please. <laughs> We're unfiltered, unedited on this channel. Just kidding. There we go. Okay. Nothing like a fresh pack getting open. All right, so four cards down. Yep, show the show the fans the code card. There you are, peeps. Lovely. Enjoy. One, two, three, four. Yep. And what do we got for an energy? We have electric. Oh, Ooh, fighting, fighting energy. That's okay. All right, All right let's see so what we got. Fighting. Thwacky. Wow, I like that already. Ooh, ooh, I think I see some hits here. Let's keep it all together. Uh, crystal. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hat Trump. Look at that hat. <laughs> Swirlix. It looks like they're in a donut. I know. That looks really cool, actually. Draining Kiss. Nice. Your mask. I stole your mask. Right. <laughs> COVID. Right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> stole your mask. Very nice. Cast form. That looks like literally someone just took a picture. Right. I'm like, I'm like, a, yeah, right. On a, I guess they don't that's draw literally these. what these look like. Cast form. Another cast form? What? Right? That's two of them. What is this one? Cast form, sunny form. And this one's just cast just form. Just basic, yeah. Okay. Okay. Lady Bob. Ooh, reverse. Guard of Guard of Yeah, there you go. Oh, the Guard of And what do we got for the last one? Whoa! Oh, actually, it looks pretty sick. Be full art. Oh my gosh. Woo! First time right here, guys. Wow. First pack in God knows how long. If you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Wow, what a great hit, Matt. Now let's uh let's take a close look at this thing. How's the centering? Looks pretty good to me. Right? I'm no professional, but let's check out the back. Smudgy. It looks good. It looks pretty clean. I don't see anything. Wow. Nice job. Not too shabby, right? Give me five. Nice. 
You know what, Matt? I'm having so much fun. I feel like we should do the rest of these. So I'm down. It's only fitting, so I so, will let you choose no, since you, you are the you winner. No, you get to pick. You get to pick. Are you sure? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with this. I think this one's the Ice Rider. I'm gonna go with this one. Nice. I think that one might be called Calyrex. I can't remember. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Help help a girl out who's just starting out. Yeah, you're uh, not gonna get any help from me. Yeah, right? <laughs> so who goes first? Probably you. You're the winner, yeah? All right. Let's go for it. Ready to go? Yep. All right, take two. That was cool. I've never, you know, gosh, this brings back so much excitement. I, I can see why people do this. It's a yeah. lot of fun, honestly. We're having some struggles. Yeah. That's okay. It's stuck. I gotta rip it. Oh, the pain. I'm just kidding. Who did we it's get for the pack art? It. I don't know. They hardly wanted us to take it out. This one's the Night Rider one. Yeah. Night Rider. Okay. We're rooting for you. I'm sure. Do people get better at this over time? I think so. This takes a lot of practice. You can't just show and go with these things. Okay. All right. Here's this thing. Code card for you. Yeah. Lovely. One, two, three, four like that okay and we'll go with psychic energy oh fire we got some fire in here that is really poorly cut though can you just look at that it's like so i feel like so thin on the right side okay Anyways. whirlipede crushing gloves <laughs> he loves this you guys honey not like the holographic one that you got, or the reverse holographic. Right? Yeah. Not like this girl. Yeah. The reverse holo. Yeah. Furfru? Doggy. It has find a friend. Oh my god. Seal. <laughs> Pro brawler. Is that a crab? That's a crab, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that looks like a crab with some his buddies. Gloves. Light punch, double the rate, golden. Okay. Grookey. A reverse Reverse Grookey, yeah. Grookey. Take and it. for the last hit. Malamar, not Malamar. holographic. Alrighty. Nice. Rapid strike tentacles. Oh. Alright, not bad, Matt. No, it was bad. That one was bad. We should have quit while we were ahead. Well, look at these hits, though. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad at all. Cool. All right, Your my turn. turn. You ready? Right. Ooh, that one came out easy for me. Oh, and we got the Knight Rider one. <laughs> to the gods. Golden Snorlax. <laughs> I was just messing with you. Ooh, yeah. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah, not bad, right? Just make sure I don't show any of the, uh, the cards here. Ooh, okay. Code card for you guys. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna go with fairy energy. Oh, water. Agua. All right, we got echoing horn. Seabold. Kirillia? Kirillia? Bubble. Bon sweet. Bon sweet sweet. Bon sweet. Fur fru. Diglett. Nice. Larvesta. Cast form reverse hollow. And for your last hit, we have 
Ooh, okay, so we got a hollow Rylaboom. Very nice. Not bad. It looks pretty, uh... It's pretty angry. Yeah. Oh, he's... Oh, that's like a drum. Look at that. Yeah, he's got his drumstick. That's really cool. The boom. And we'll check out the back. Back's not bad. Little whitening on the top right corner, I see. And, uh... Maybe the bottom left, that tiny, tiny speck, but the centering looks pretty good. What do you think, Matt? Looks good to me. Not bad. Yeah, so these solid. were our hits, guys. Don't cover up the winner. Oh gosh, not bad hits. Three out of the four packs that we bought. Um, if you guys like this, please consider subscribing. And we'd love to do more pack openings, do a little pack battle between Matt and I. I think it's kind of funny that we're not professionals like everybody else out there. So you guys can kind of poke fun at us um, when we pronounce these Pokemon card names wrong. I think it's it makes it uh, challenging for us, definitely. And um, yeah, anything else to say, Matt? That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Really, truly appreciate it. Nice to share some of these with you. Nice to share that victory. <laughs> One of many. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Last store of the day, we had to hit up Barnes and Noble. Let's go check it out. All right guys, pretty cool. So we just hit the jackpot at Barnes and Noble. We got one of these tins. Whoever, yeah. uh, who is that? What's his name? Empoleon. We got an Empoleon tin and a Vivid Voltage pack. I've never opened these before, so that was pretty cool. And Real. It's a good thing that you bring your partner or your friend or someone because they still have a limit on Pokemon items. So Matt bought two of those, and I got some of these Shining Fates mini tins. So we got this one right here, and the little Celebi tin right here. And these are my first tins that I've ever bought retail for retail price, which is crazy to me because I didn't have to buy them on Facebook Marketplace. I didn't have to buy them on eBay. So the mini tins went for- 20 bucks. Yep, $8.99 each. And then the Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage was $4.19. And the, uh, the Empoleon tin went for $24.99. So really happy to add these to the collection. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for sticking around for our card hunt and we'll see you later. Take care.